In this lesson, we will be talking about the language around probability. Now, when we talk about probability, we're talking about whether or not something is likely to happen or what are the chances that something is going to happen. So if I were to ask you to find a flower that talks, that's an impossible event. I would not be able to find any flowers in real life that talks. So events that cannot happen are impossible. Events that could happen are possible. Another word that we use is certain. So is the month after June always July? Well, we know that July will always come after June no matter what. So that is a certain event. So we know for sure it's going to happen. If an event is likely to happen, it is probable. So if I, if it, there's a really good chance that something's going to happen, it is a probable event. If it is unlikely to happen, it is improbable. So if we take a look at this example, uh, Louis has these coins in his pocket. He has nine pennies, two nickels, and two dimes. One coin falls out. How likely is it that that coin is? Um, so how likely is it that it's going to be a nickel? Well, there are nine plus two is 11, plus two is 13 coins. And so out of those, the majority of them are pennies. So how likely is it that it's going to be a nickel? It's not super likely. Um, how about a dime? Same, there's only two. If I were to take a guess, a good guess would be the penny because there is more of them. Now, in terms of getting a quarter, and I know these pictures aren't the greatest, but it's impossible for the coin to be a quarter because he doesn't have any of those in his pocket. So he can't have a quarter fall out of his pocket. Okay, so the probability of an event is a measure of how likely the event is to happen. The coin is most likely to be a penny and the nickel and the dime are not as likely, although they are a possibility. We can show these types of things on a um, line to show how likely an event is. So if I were to look at my uh, penny, it's very likely. So I might say that my penny would go down here as oops, the option. It's fairly likely and it's possible. My nickels and my dimes, I would say they're probably in here somewhere because it is possible, but it's less likely than the pennies. Now, if I were to look at the quarter, that's an impossible event. So it's way over here because I don't have, or Lewis doesn't have any quarters in his pocket, so it's not gonna happen. There are some practice question here. Uh, they use the words, and they're asking you to use the words impossible, possible, certain, unlikely, and likely to describe each event. Um, so if we are looking at each of these, you will go through and use one of those words to figure out whether or not um, you think something might happen. So for example, I'm going to do the first one with you. For 1A, it will snow tomorrow. Is that possible in June? Yeah, it is possible. Is it likely? Mm, probably not. So that would be a possible unlikely event because even though I'm sure we have had snow in June in Saskatchewan, it's not very likely to happen tomorrow. So as you go through um, each of these, use those words to try and describe um, the situation. And if you have any issues or you need further clarification, please let me know.